Hello, motherfuckers. Welcome back to motherfucking channel. Um, we're gonna get into some things today. Yeah. Now, I want to start this video off by just asking the question. Um, I'm asking you guys, and I'm going to ask myself because I'm going to answer it as well. Is Stan Twitter toxic? The short answer is yes and no. But the long answer, it gets deeper. So, let's talk. Stan Twitter is a place where multiple fandoms um, exist. Um, they have to coexist. Um, and at times, it can be very, very, uh, a very toxic environment. Oh, let's be real. Let me tell you why it's not toxic. Um, again, Sand Twitter is a place where multiple fandoms can come together and coexist and be friends. Um, you can meet some very, 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 very incredible people on Stan Twitter. Um, lifelong friends, and yes, before I continue... Um, internet friends are your real friends. They can be your real friends. Um, even more than your r real life friends, honestly. Just a place where you can feel welcomed. Um, especially if you stand certain artists that get, receive a lot of backlash for absolutely no reason. We're gonna get into more of that in a minute to stay on Twitter and you expect to feel welcomed, um, and you do, you, f like I said, you find some amazing people, sometimes they're lifelong friends. We host streaming parties, buying parties, viewing parties, and just overall, like I said, you feel welcomed, you feel at, you feel like a part of a whole. And some people don't feel like that, and that's, you know, that's fine. If you come to stay on Twitter to feel that, that's okay. I don't understand why people have such a negative, or why it brings such a negative connotation behind Stan Twitter. It's weird. Now, the toxic issue comes from where these other fan bases come at certain artists, go out of their way to come at certain artists, and it's not even just fans. It's grown, grown-ass people that have platforms, that is, it's, in, it's fucking insane, like, who raised you people? And then when we stick up for our faves or ourselves at times, um, I'm gonna get more specific in a minute, but this applies to just basically all stands on Twitter for real. When the, these certain people come at our favorite artist, um, w and then we retaliate, it becomes us bullying and I, that logic right there it, it's not logic whatsoever and if you think that it's logical mental illness okay some people like people need to realize that some people's music has saved lives whether you like it or not whether you like that artist or not you need to realize that sometimes music is that is meaningless to you is everything to somebody else you never know and that is so inconsiderate when you go out of your way to make people feel shitty for what they enjoy listening to i think it's real weird i really think it's weird so no i never feel sorry for people that get dragged for making fun of an artist i never feel sorry for those people because why why if you don't like somebody if you don't like a certain artist or a certain TV show, why are you constantly, consistently, every single day tweeting about it? Like, it, it, it really, it's mental illness. It's a mental illness. And I'll say it again, it's mental illness. Now, let's talk about certain fan bases that are perceived as negative or toxic. Um... Ones that I see a lot is K-pop. K-pop stands, um, and I think it stems from the fan cams, honestly. They, they love, like, leaving fan cams under hit tweets or even just tweets in general if you're dragging their fave. Um, their faves, honestly. BTS, uh, 
who are the other ones? Like, Blackpink, like, there's so many K-pop stands on Twitter, it's like, it's, it's crazy. But, if these people were left alone, you wouldn't hear from them. You, you would not, they would not be in your mentions. It's weird. Now, another fan base, um, I can't really get too deep into, um, the fan bases and why they like I, I can't because I don't really stand that many people and like don't have really that many stands but Ariana Grande's fan base I know they get a lot of hate um which they got a lot of hate um when Mac Miller died it stemmed from Ariana um talking about him in his uh, or in her um was this no it wasn't seven rings it was thank you next and so, I just remember seeing so many people, like, being so disgusting towards Ariana. That was, you people did not know him. Not saying that his death or, um, you know, didn't affect you in any way. Because I, I understand that firsthand. I am a fan of somebody that died and receives tons of fucking hate. Um, so I understand. But at the same time, Ariana was in this man's life for, a, like, they were together, like, on and off, I think. I'm not 100% sure, so I can't really be talking about this stuff. But, it's just, it's just nonsense. Let's keep going. Okay, Barb's. Woo-cha! Okay, this one, I'm like, I have a lot. To, well, not really a lot to say, but let, let's just talk. First-hand experience. I've been a Barb since 2010. I love Nikki. Ever since she debuted it, I fucking, that's, that's my bitch. Congratulations, by the way, she just announced her pregnancy. Oh, okay, and that's, I think that's a good starting point. I've seen a lot. It's, 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 it's insane. I can't even fathom it. It's like, how are you mad at somebody for being pregnant, okay? Like, wh where's the logic? Like, I'll never understand. Like, let's take this, for example, this tweet from D-E-7-E-N-M-E-Way. I wasn't going to put these people in this video because I don't want to give them a platform. I don't want to give them what they want, for real. So, he says, Nikki stands, be so angry. Why are y'all like this? Baby. <laughs> Baby. What? So, you think that you can just make fun of people constantly, all day on Twitter, and then when you receive backlash from those people, those certain people's fans, that it's us being angry, or it's us bullying, or it's just us being messy, and that's not it at all, like... We really want to understand, like, I, I just, I know so many Barb's on Twitter. Um, by the way, follow me on Twitter if you want to. <laughs> I just know so many Barb's on Twitter that are so pure and so unproblematic. I really think the Barb's are honestly, and I will say this, and I don't give a fuck what nobody has to say, the Barb's are one of the most unproblematic fan bases ever. Like, we really, really stick to just Nikki, like, my whole timeline is just Nikki, 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 and when you come at Nikki, the barbs, it's, it's like, it's unmatched, it's, we're up there with BTS, BTS fans, they will infiltrate your entire Twitter, and <laughs> that's how it is, this man really, like, really had the nerve to say that, and his pin tweet, I'm not, I can't make this up. Look at this picture, you guys. The category is quality. <laughs> this, hey! this, no. Okay, now one more person that I just want to like talk about real quick is Kobe Bean Bryant. I'm not going to say his app. Fuck him. <laughs> he says Nicki Minaj is going to be a single mother and she don't even know it yet. Why in the fuck would you even, like, what, why would you tweet that? Like, what made you open your Twitter and just like, let me, let me, let me, let, ooh, 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 let me do this real, 
What is the logic? Where are your people's minds? Oh. And the sad issue is that it's grown people. Like, it is people that are over the age of 25 that constantly talk about Nicki Minaj and get upset. I know how this may sound. I, I'm very passionate about this topic because I just don't understand like the thought process of trying to like belittle a black woman. I, I will never understand it. But now, okay, okay, this is the last person, the last like really irrelevant person that I really have to talk about real quick. This video, her name is Oatmeal Mama or something like that on, well, she doesn't have a TikTok no more because, <laughs> hello, we got it taken down. Okay, anyway, she posted a video, just look. Did you know that Nicki Minaj actually is still married to her husband, who was a pedophile and a child rapist, and she helped bail her predator brother out of jail, who's also a child rapist? No, she's fucking good, Stan Nicki. I, I never said anything about her music being bad. She's a very talented woman, but she has no morals. She's a very bad person at her core. I never said that you weren't allowed to listen to her music. I simply just said if you stan her, you're a shitty person. Stan Nikki, Cardi's worse. Chris Brown did worse. All these people did worse. You're coming at Nikki for no reason. What do you mean no reason? She sympathizes with pedos and... Shut up. Let me be delusional. You... Oh my god, and this is a topic that continues to get brought up. Nikki, Nikki's husband, Kenneth Petty, oh my god, I could really go, I, I'm really about to go in real quick. Kenneth Petty, 16 years old. At 16 years old, he was dating, um, I believe she was either 14 or 15 years old. 16 years old, a minor. The mother of the daughter of the his girlfriend did not agree with the circumstances um and she filed a police report saying that he was i can't i don't i can't say this i'll just mute it and it got took into court and he being a 16 year old black man in new york didn't doesn't didn't have the funds to really um you know protect himself, at, especially at that time, it was the 90s, I think it was the 90s maybe, I don't know, don't quote me, he didn't have the funds for a lawyer. So it was either he'd take the child charges, or he goes to prison for half of his life. Now, you, being a white, dog-faced bitch on TikTok, Something about that just really, it screams racism towards me because people love downing or making, poking fun at black men who can't protect themselves and don't know the full fucking story. So he took the charges. And another thing is people love bringing up Nikki's brother. Um, ugh. I'm just like, it's so weird. It's so, you people are obsessed. You people are obsessed with the thought of children. Even to bring it up as a defense, which is, again, weird as fuck. It screams anti-victim. You don't, you, you don't care how that victim feels. You don't care how, how that person's life has changed forever. That had zero, nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. That was her brother. Hello, bye. He he has a name, use his name. It's not just Nicki Minaj's brother. His name is Jelani. Say his name. Not Nicki Minaj's brother. Like, it's weird. You guys are fuck. it's a mental illness. It's really mental illness. So, that lady got her TikTok taken away, thank God. Um, Either she deleted it or we just... Got it, because we were mass reporting, thank God, and we'll do it again, okay? <laughs> you people are are mad that we will not let you drag what makes us happy, um, spread false information in peace. You guys are mad that we won't let you do that. I'd be mad too, girl. <laughs> now, 
that was just the barbs, you know, because I really feel like the barbs really get a lot of disrespect for absolutely no reason. Just because we enjoy something and you people constantly come online and try to degrade us or make us feel less of a person because we enjoy it. Um, again, mental illness. <laughs> now, one more thing thing I want to talk about before I end this video is the topic is toxic stan twitter um now of course there are the pure genuine and that is that's the T there's more genuine than there are the actual toxic stands there's so many more genuine people than these people that just are negative um and they are stands they just so happen to be stands but that's in every situation and in every fan base and in every everything literally there's always toxic and there's always good what what really gets under my skin is and it always has i've been wanting to make this video for years ever since i started youtube for real i just always wanted to make this video about Entitled stands. That that is a whole video in, in itself. People that get a couple thousand followers and <laughs> and they just think that they're they're elite or they're better than the rest. And again, that's mental illness. That is that's mental illness. When a certain and I will say there are certain barbs that have a mass following, like ten thousand plus followers that just they think they're like Nikki or something and it's it's so mental illness it's so fucking weird okay actually I have one more thing to talk about miss bubble gump tooth bitch Kaya miss shark teeth miss shards in her mouth Kaya sis really only has one hit really only has one hit it might be a classic it really is a classic I'll give her that one though she has a one hit tanache has more hits than you girl like it, it's crazy iggy has more hits than you sis like so weedy has more hits than you it's it's mm. so this big shrimp bubble gump ass bitch really had the nerve to say she said child you know the industry hoes get fucked and passed around with no condoms we say we the people say we hope the baby is really his what bitch bitch what like why why can't you just say oh congratulations nikki why like why does it have to be a whole thing like i really think these people get hard off this i really think this is a a fetish for them and it's mental illness that's what it is and she also in fact was dragging mr kenneth petty um for his allegations um, when her man is literally a convicted pedophile, sex with a minor, three, two accounts of that, I mean, there's probably more, I only have this screenshot and I'm going to put it on the screen, um, so, and this is all, <laughs> like, I can't say that this is true or not, but I mean, hey, the proof is in the pudding, girl, like, you look like you fuck, but, I mean, I, I, that's that's really all I have to say today, you guys. If you guys want another video, because I could really go in on Stan Twitter for real. Um, I do want to do a video of Stan language, because that's like that's a whole nother like native language itself. <laughs> but I guess that's it, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And before you guys go around just spreading false information, even if you feel so deeply about a situation. Maybe inform yourself or educate yourself because that seems very, it just all seems very planned out and it seems very um, like you want the attention. Um, and then when you get the attention, you can't back it up. You can't, the only thing you say is we're, we're delusional or we're obsessed, blah, blah, blah. But it's really you people that are obsessed. Mental illness, again. Um, but I guess that's it, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and bye, motherfuckers. Thank you.